Well, Shelley, it's great to have you here um, to talk about this you know, really important topic um, around mental health and challenges, in particularly uh, around what managers can be doing. And, and I know that in, in my role, um, I often have managers ask me you know, what their accountability should be and what they should be doing in the management of their teams. And mm. so I guess my, my first question to you is, you know, what signs or behaviours should managers look for that might indicate that a team member of theirs is experiencing mm. some difficulties? Sure, okay. Well, Rolf, managers are uniquely placed to recognise and to respond to mental health issues in the workplace. And from time to time, they'll certainly notice that, uh, that team members are experiencing an elevated level of stress. And, and this can be accompanied by a reduction in their well-being and their mental health. Yeah. So some of the telltale signs certainly fall into two categories, and they are both demeanour, changes in demeanour, okay. and changes in work performance. On the demeanour side, what managers might notice is a change in uh, how people are dealing with stress, Mm. Team members becoming easily overwhelmed, reacting emotionally to challenges, overreacting to situations. Team members who are increasingly quiet, withdrawn or deflated. Uh, perhaps they're noticing a decrease at that time in social interactions. Yeah. Another sign is a noticeably low mood or low energy, uh, appearing excessively nervous or worried and changes in eating and sleeping habits also. Yeah. So what managers are looking for here is a change in behaviour. So something that's out of character for the individual. So they really have to get to know their people as well, don't they? Absolutely. You have to sort of know your people, know them well, so mm. that you, you can be attentive to any of these changes in demeanour that might come along. That's absolutely true. And, and really tuning in frequently is the key. Right. So uh, to understanding your staff. Uh, the other side of things is on the performance side, so changes to the performance of your team member. So you might notice that they are, uh, have a drop in productivity or efficiency in how they normally go about their work. Or perhaps you're noticing uh, that they're missing work or calling in sick more frequently. These are some of the classic signs uh, that you can notice. The managers need to be aware that these signs can manifest themselves quite differently between different individuals. And as I said, the key really is to tune in as frequently as you can. You know, why is it important that managers actually notice these signs and, and look for changes in behaviour or attitude? Yeah, it's, it, most man managers can easily recognise the signs. We know that people have no trouble recognising them. What is crucial is actually taking the steps to do something about it, which can right. be at times a little bit more difficult for some managers. So where an individual is um, experiencing difficulties, it's very important to not only help the individual, but looking at the impact on the business and also and how to minimise that. So minimising the, the business impact, um, you may see changes in um, productivity. It may impact on how client needs are being met yeah. and there may be gaps there. And it may also have a flow on effect longer term to the firm's reputation yeah. or onto um, perhaps a stress claim down the track. Yeah, yeah so I guess it's really important then for managers to know what the next step should be mm. um, for, an for an employee mm. who, who may be um, unwell but then also keeping in mind the overall impact of, of mm. that person's health on, on the business. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And both can be very costly to the individual and to the business.